Welcome back to the Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke. Last time we left off, apparently this guy is a Dark Lord because he was able to revive Dale uh, with his Dark Magic power. So his power to trial or something, but basically Dale's alive again. Turn up. And... Yeah, we are right in front of the next trial site. So, without further ado, let's go on in. To the very last trial. <sighs> Sorry, I'm not very good at running. It looks like you're it looks like we're nearly at the altar now, aren't we, Dark One? Let me take care of Mimikyu for you. Thanks, Lily. You gave me that extra push to bring Dale back to life. When your Pokemon are full of energy, then a trainer can go anywhere in the world. Does that seem does it seem that way? Thanks for that being adorable, Lily. Faint letters can just barely be made out carved to the ancient stone monument. It headlines the sacred grounds of trials. None who do not take part in the trials will be allowed to walk upon this earth. Those lacking the courage to defeat the totem guarding this land will be denied entry. But those who believe in their Pokemon and walk and walk beside them shall gain great power. There's no caption to be found, but it seems like it's like you're standing at the edge of a trial site. Take on the trial. Looks like this trial is a basic one. Walk to the other side of the room. I'm down with that. You feel a piercing gaze that seems to cut right through you, but from where? Oh look, it's a Jango! Oh. Not the man I do love these little Pokemon. Cause they're kinda cute looking. And they're and they've also dragon fine type, which is a pretty unique typing. I'm kinda sad I didn't encounter one in this series, so we'll love to catch one. But also ties for it with the fairy, so you know. You feel an even fiercer gaze than before. Dragon Claw is hit in this cave, in case you're curious to where that is. And it just jumped right out at me. Literally. That's good, I'm leveled up. And I forgot to mention I evolved them off screen, basically using the Electrolyzer. Uh, it, it evolved by trade, so I didn't feel showing up necessary. Anyway, we're getting close to that piercing gaze that's flaring right through our skull. Is it a Z crystal? I'll take it. Only to get jumped. Oh dear! You are quite large indeed, my friend. Sounds by Totem. Come on, oh! Come on, come on, oh! And it has the Aura game on it too. That Totem Pokemon normally does. But, not only is Mimic immune to dragon type attacks, it also has a fuck you in their protect. Oh dear lord, I love that. It's just so freaking cute. Twinkle Tackle! Right, there goes my one Z move. 
You know, Zemo still do damage, but it does like only half damage because it protects the band of butt. Oh dear! Scizor! I got the set of Pokemon like this turn right now. Play rough to kill it. Take the free hit. Watch out for that attack boost. Ellen, get in here and take care of this thing. Another attack boost. And it's out! Good job, team! Kimono hit itself somewhere in the deepest recesses of the valley. And we got... Not the last sea crystal, but the last one from a trial that we're gonna get our hands on. There's still two sea crystals left to get flying in ice. Between the dragon type Z crystal, the dragon Z is yours. We how we know how to immediately do the Z move without, you know, someone telling us how to use the Z move. It just feels so fitting. Anyway, the altar of the sun is before us. Apple, oh, you came back. Dark one! Our history tells us that Vast Pony, that the Vast Pony Canyon trial was the very first trial ever to be held. You did a fine job clearing this is expected, Dark One. You've cleared all seven trials of Alola of Alola's Island Challenge now, that's wonderful. You've pushed yourself beyond your limits and become a really I mean, really became a great trainer, haven't you? Uh and she could never have done it without you, Mimikyu. Let me heal you real let me heal you up real quick. Look at the two of you. I think this might just work out. No, I'm quite sure of it. The sample in a moon flute. If we both sound, if we if we sound both together, let's go. All right, let's climb up these ridiculously long stairs first. Let's climb the stairs to victory. Our destiny, whichever one you want to say is up here. strong power of the sun. Nebby, I'm going to make my mother wake up and see the see reason before I send you back to your old world. I'm going to make her hear me. I'm going to tell her how I feel. Even if I'm not a trainer, I can still do that much. The moon flute. It feels like it was made to fit my hand. I think I can play it. Dark one, you should stand over there. The sacred ritual at the trial site. I mean, beyond the trial site. At the altar of the sun. Let's blow the flute.
Oh dear. Power of the sun! Oh, I awake it! Get that grin. Oh, majestic. And the sunlight and everything. Nappy, th thank goodness you're alright! Please don't ever make me do that again. You made me worry so much. I never imagined the sound of flutes would give you so much power. Or let you evolve into, leg into legendary Pokemon. Not in all not not in all my reading. Never did I ever come across any hint that you would evolve into a legendary Pokemon. Please so Leo. No. Nebby, please, I need to see my mother. Onwards! Oh dear, we are in a holy new space. Welcome to Ultra Space! How surprising. It's more beautiful than I would have expected. But the air is so thick here, it almost hurts to breathe. I'm not sure. Nebby evolved and I'm in a different world. There's just too much that has happened. We should go. What is it? Are you telling us that you have to stay there? I'm, I'm so grateful to, to you for bringing me here, Nebby. Thank you. I guess I should go the rest of the way myself. We are in ultra space. You can see, Rotom apparently doesn't work in here. However, we are able to save everything else that we can normally in here. Okay, I want to waste a minute of time here, so let me just say this. I love this design of Ultra Space. It's all cool, this whole cavern looking thing. But I don't know if the whole world looks like this. And you can see like, like uh, Nihilego just flying by as you walk, as you walk around. I mean, it's all cool and everything. This whole space is really imaginative, and I do love the design of it. I just kind of wish that it took up a larger chunk of the game instead of just like the last few hour or so of gameplay, or last few minutes, half an hour honestly of gameplay, then 
than just this. Like, honestly, we gotta would love to see more Vulture Space. Maybe in the next game, if we get like a full on you no know, sequel game, like you no know, Black and White 2, or, or the third version, as we all expect, like a third version based on Necrozma, who we might talk about later, uh, I would love to see the Ultra Space support a bit more. Uh. That's basically what I want to say about Ultra Space for right now. I'm going to end the episode here because we got a lot of stuff coming up next time. So then, until next time, everybody, see you then.